First at six tonight, a rebate for South Carolinians is the talk in Columbia. This all stems from $1.8 billion that surprised lawmakers, and no one can say where it came from. Carlos Flores joins us live with more on what you are saying. Carlos. Well, good afternoon there, Nigel and Carol. That's right. Well, all eyes are on lawmakers as they try to figure out this issue. There's a proposed bill that could be on the way that could affect you in your pocket, but it could be a while before you receive any check in the mail. $1.8 billion could be returning to the people of South Carolina. This would be through a proposed bill that would send a one-time rebate for people who filed a tax return in 2023. I think we should give it back to the taxpayer, let them use it how they see fit, and uh, they're going to you know, use it better than the government obviously did uh, since they lost it. This money would be coming from the $1.8 billion that has been sitting in an account for years untouched. South Carolina State Treasurer Curtis Loftus has argued the money was not missing or recently discovered, but has always been made visible to the Comptroller General's Office, the Department of Administration, and the State Treasurer's Office. State Senator Larry Grooms has been critical of Loftus throughout this situation, and now we're working to find out where that money was originally allocated to. Now that we know with his error, we're having to put together a task force and even bring in forensic auditors to try to straighten the books of the Treasury. Now, once the money has been certified, the General Assembly can allocate it, which could open the door for a rebate. Morgan fears lawmakers would spend the money unnecessarily. The fact is, a lot of them are going to want to throw it to special projects. They're not going to want to give it to your roads. Uh, I don't trust that. I say no, give it back to the taxpayers. Now, some people already have an idea what they want the money to go towards. Most likely, I would just put it in my savings account, most likely, just in case for like emergency or or whatnot, or if I need something that needs to be paid off, then I would use it for that. Anything less than $300, I would much rather have roads or schools being invested in. Now, Groom says it could be a year before they can determine where the this $1.8 billion was supposed to go to. And as for this particular bill, it is currently sitting in the House's Ways and Means Committee. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.